guys, today we're gonna do DT week day seven. So I have been hauling Dollar Tree items for seven full days. I wanted it to be seven straight days, but y'all know, y'all know why. So anyway, I figured though, because I wasn't able to upload in sh seven straight days for you, that I would make this haul a little bit longer. So I have so much stuff. So pause this, grab a tea, grab a coffee, grab whatever drink that you love, cozy up because I am making this extra long for you guys. Okay, so I have a lot of, four, not a lot, but I have some things for 4th of July and stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing Dollar Tree 4th of July DIYs. I'm gonna be starting them this weekend and I'm gonna be putting them out hopefully all of next week and try to resume back on my normal filming schedule which is monday wednesdays and fridays and maybe even to get caught up you may see additional videos um not on those days just because i have a lot that i need to get done and a lot of video ideas that i really need to execute and get out to you guys anyway <clears throat> I also have like, I feel like I'm going to be clearing my throat just because I just ate some breakfast and I don't know, just maybe because I'm like still getting over my sickness. I'm like, <clears throat> you know, clearing my throat. Anyway, okay, found this light up LED necklace for 4th of July. I think this is really adorable. This is $1. Like I mentioned this in my other DT weeks, but Party City, something like this, would be so expensive. Anyway, it looks like the battery does already come in it. I don't know how you, how do you light this sucker up? I got this for my daughter, basically. Let's see. Do you guys see it? So cute, I love it. You can also definitely use this for decor um, ideas and you could just wait until you see what I do with 4th of July and then this will be a really another like great alternative to like what I'm doing. I know that was really cryptic but I just don't wanna give my DIYs away just yet. Anyway, I did get this for my daughter. So I don't know if you have a teenager and if teenage girls do this in, in your realm, but anytime there's any sort of holiday, they love like getting kind of dressed up for that. And it's something just fun for them to look forward to, you know? So I got this for her. On that note, I also picked up some staples. I picked up this one for her as well and then like her and her friends can basically share and these are so beautiful again great great decor items to use you could frame you know picture frames with this you could um, add it to like a cute little jar or something i got this one now i did a diy with this couple years ago so definitely check out my description box and I will start adding all of my 4th of July stuff there for you so that if you need some ideas like right now, you can see what I've already done in the past. And I feel like I've done so many things I've loved for 4th of July um, from Dollar Tree. And this was one of my favorite 4th of July DIYs ever. So maybe I'll include like a little like snippet here for you but I'll link that video down below but I did get this basically for my daughter as well to wear anyway just make sure that you test these items out when you're in Dollar Tree I tell you guys this all the time but then I never do it for myself and I, I just forget but try to remember because I'm sitting here pressing this and absolutely nothing is happening. So I think I'm going to take this one back and exchange it for one that is working. Also on the 4th of July track, I got some bandanas. You get a regular like navy one under here, which is so pretty. And then you get a American flag bandana, which is really, really cute. I also got this for my daughter as well. Here's another one, same American flag, but the other option is a red bandana. So really cute. You can actually use these as like table um, placemats as well. So that's an idea for you guys as well. And you get two for a dollar, that's crazy. I also picked up a, another scarf. Now I've already hauled this and you're gonna see a DIY with this really soon, but I felt like I needed this another white one. So I think this is really pretty, the star with the flag in the center. 
And I found some cute socks. Now socks at Dollar Tree are starting to kind of grab my attention lately. Now my daughter's a collector of socks and we always get like cutesy little socks at Forever 21, which are very inexpensive. They're like $1.90. Um, but look at these from Dollar Tree. This floral one is so cute. They're kind of the no-show socks. And this one, I mean, I think the two combinations kind of random a little bit, but I still love both of them. So I actually got these for my daughter as well, just because again, she's a collector of little socks. But yet somehow, every time I see her, the pairs never match, ne not ever. Brand new to Dollar Tree are these felt stickers. Who has seen these? Oh my goodness. So felt, meaning there's like some sort of like fabric sensory touch to these and these are letters and numbers so you get 55 felt stickers in five different colors it's kind of hard to see them they're not like the most amazing colors i've ever seen i don't really like this bright neon fluorescent orange and they had many ones letters and numbers 80 felt stickers and again five different colors and they're the many little letters and they have the sticker adhesive backing, which is amazing. And then I just had to stock up on some batteries just because I purchased those flameless candles from Amazon and they require double A batteries. I always go for the alkalines. I feel like they last the longest. And so I always get the sunbeam in the alkalines. Um, in case you've ever like noticed, I never really haul any other type of battery but these from Dollar Tree. Then I found this pink Himalayan salt. Now I just happened to catch a video from Do It On A Dime. She's amazing and she found this pink Himalayan salt and ironically I have been looking for pink Himalayan salt and I finally found it and at Dollar Tree no less. So it is crazy that you can get this for a dollar. I'll insert like a little picture of what it normally retails for, but you guys, um, amazing. But something for you guys to know, and I think it's really important to understand salt. Now the most important part of salt is the iodine, okay, the iodide, whatever. And that is really like what I think you need. and but you should know that this salt does not supply iodide, uh, it, which is a necessary nutrient. Yeah, you, ha you your body needs iodide. So I just wanted to let you guys know that it says that there. So don't think that you are, you should necessarily replace this with salt. Definitely do your research, um, but you do need to have iodide in your in your diet. I also picked up this vitamin E beauty oil. So I picked this up because my daughter um, went to the dermatologist and she had a little thing like molish thing removed. And so uh, the, the doctor recommended that she use some vitamin E oil so that, you know, to prevent any type of scarring. So saw this at Dollar Tree and I was like, what? Oh, I thought I got another necklace. I was looking through my bag and couldn't find it, but I also got these for my daughter as well. I think these are the cutest ones that Dollar Tree has. Like, super adorable. The little stars hanging off. Again, great for any type of, like, decorative decor. You could make a chalkboard like I've made in the past with my 4th of July, and you could, like, glue this on there somehow, some way, and it would be just really, really cute. But I got this for her to wear also picked up some gardening tools now you guys know i love the gardening stuff at dollar tree i've bought their gloves i've bought this before but these are new the style is new so um i had to pick one up i need to do some fixing of a sprinkler head and i need a little shovel to do that and so i love the foam grip it's a really really nice grip and then there's even like a measuring tool in here as well which is really interesting all right, the next couple of things are new items alert. Prepare yourself because it has finally freaking happened, but wall decor is here in donuts. What? 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 I am super excited that they finally put out some new ones. And let me tell you, they actually had another one with a unicorn and I don't know why I didn't get it. 
Um, so I'm gonna have to go back and get it and I unfortunately didn't take a picture But I wanted you guys to know they have these and you know that I use these for my planner now I've been hauling a bunch of these and I haven't had a chance to plan in my planner But I'm hoping to get to that this weekend as well And hopefully I'm gonna start using some of my wall creations from Dollar Tree in my planner continuing on on the new item alerts blue gorgeous and they came out with these last year for the very first time in white red they were darker colors so well except white is obviously on the lighter end of the spectrum but they had red they had navy and they had white and now they have come out with pastel freaking colors like are you kidding me and this yellow <sighs> mm, ladies and then i found some sticky notes now i think a couple of you have been telling me that there have been new sticky notes at dollar tree and you said something about a leaf um and you said it was very golden girls were you referring to this one i'm not sure i haven't seen whatever it is that you guys are finding at dollar tree so comment down below and let me know or dm me a picture on instagram on what you're finding at dollar tree but I found these journal, a journal and sticky notes, which is kind of random. So these are very small sticky notes. Like you can't really write a note on here. They're more like decorative purposes, but I think it's cute and I love that I found it. Here's this one, it has a little, again, a journal and sticky notes. And this one is just adorable, adorable. And this one is, any fin is possible. Are you kidding me? That's too cute. These are sticky notes. That's a journal. That's insane to me. And this one, of course, is my favorite. So cute. I, I just love sweets and desserts. How I don't have diabetes, I'm sure I'm probably in the process of that. But I just have a sweet tooth like none other. And... This is the cutest thing ever. We're still on the path of new item alerts and I found some new pens. Now, when was the last time I actually hauled like cute, you know, um, novelty pens, I think is the word I'm looking for. But you guys, the flamingos with the feather boa or just the feathers or whatever. And you get your traditional pink flamingo, so cute. So you, as you can see, it's a pen and then this lavender and a mint green. Oh my goodness, that is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. The only thing I don't understand is why did they print these numbers here? What do these numbers mean? Why was it printed on the pen? It looks like serial numbers of some sort. Very bizarre to me, but all right. Wow, we still have the most gigantic bag left and I know this video is already long. So let's go ahead and dive in. I had to get some uh, summer supplies and I was super excited about what Dollar Tree has been putting out lately. So I found these splash catchers and so cute so it comes with a little ball they also sell these balls individually too in a packet of four for a dollar so keep an eye out on that if you do buy something like this i would buy the extra balls as well just in case you know like you lose one um but so cute this would be fun to play in a pool in the ocean in the lake um okay so then i found these little uh beach toys right essentially you just use this for the sand and you make little like sand castles and things like that. You could also definitely use this in dirt. That would work too if you're not near an ocean. And you get all of these for $1. And they also came in different colors as well. I picked up a huge uh, bubble maker. Like, do you see how huge that bubble maker is? So you'd probably have to run with this one, right? This is the one where you're like, woo. But um, there's a sound effect for you. They also come in different colors in these too. Of course, I have been like really loving yellow lately, so I got the yellow. And they have earplugs and nose clips. 
I didn't see this in any other color, but of course, if they had any other color, I think I still would have chosen yellow. And who knew that Dollar Tree sells sunblock? This is Max Block Sunscreen 30 SPF. It's a sport, water resistant for up to 80 minutes. I find that very odd. How do you know? I'm sure from testing, but like why, why 80 minutes is like, I just don't understand. And then I saw this cute little water gun. They also come in different colors as well. You just fill this up right in here and then you have a cute little water gun. And I liked the green. And I have another little thing for sand castles and this cute little shape that you would stamp in as a little shark. They had different, they had turtles and all kinds of things. Oh, I also got uh, aloe vera. So this is amazing. I feel like this is a really, really great um, product. I mean, this is just aloe vera straight up. And aloe vera is so good for you in so many different ways. Obviously, this isn't something that you eat, um, but it's definitely great for your skin. Even, even when I go on my beach vacation, anytime I leave the beach, I apply aloe vera even if I'm not sunburnt. So that's just me. And they also make aloe vera lotions. So those are great too. Obviously had to pick up a cute little bucket and it comes with a little shovel and different bucket colors, different color shovels. So lots of options. I also found this cute little cup. I think I've actually may have hauled this before. I think I have. Yeah, I definitely think I forgot that I have these. Anyway, I got it again and I love the cute little prints. And this one has a red top and they had different colors as well. And I picked up some cool pops. They have these at Dollar Tree and they had a ton of other like name brand one as well. And these are name brand, I believe. And you get watermelon, tropical punch, berry punch, cherry, orange, grape, strawberry, and lemon lime. That is a ton of flavors. 16 pops is what you get in here. So looks like you probably get two of each, right? And the very last thing they were, they had these cute new little like lollipops out. And this is a flamingo pineapple shimmer lollipop. Wow. So cute. Again, somewhere at Party City, this would retail for probably like three to five dollars. And this was one dollar. And it does have the green briar stamp right there. So, and then as you can see, this is a little flamingo, this is a little pineapple, and then you get your regular lollipops, but I just love the little summery colors of these. Okay, and for the final event, freaking floaties. I'll just show you the first one. It's yellow, it's gorgeous, I love it. It's just plain. And they have watermelon and donuts, and they had so many more to choose from. I'm gonna have to go back to Dollar Tree this weekend and see if I can't find more. I don't know what my obsession is with these now, but like I want to find as many cute patterns as I can. And you can kind of see in the picture how big it is. Now that is a little girl. She looks about anywhere between four or five years old, maybe six, I'm not sure. And so probably a pretty decent size. Um, most likely for a younger child, but could probably still work for an adult, depending. Um, and this one is a donut that looks like it's been half eaten. So, or has a little bite in it, not half eaten, but you know what I'm saying. And then here is the real deal. Oh my goodness. So that is basically it for today. That was a lot of stuff. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this extra long video or longer than what I've been putting out. And I'm super excited for you guys to see what I'm going to do with the summer stuff. So stick around. I know I just gave it away a little bit, but stick around. I want you guys to see what I do with all of this. Hopefully that video is going to be up tomorrow. That is my goal. And that would mean that it's going to come out on Saturday. So Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Comment down below again. Let me know um, what you guys are finding at Dollar Tree that I'm not. Still have not found the lemon plates. I am very, very sad about that. 
Um, also, it's really sweet because a lot of you have been telling me that if I had a P.O. box, you would be sending them to me. And I think that is the sweetest, most thoughtful thing for you guys to ever say to me. But anyway, so I really don't know the details about the P.O. box just yet. But if I do get one, I'll link it down below and you guys can obviously send me letters there. And that's pretty much it. Still on the hunt for those lemon plates. I'm not going to give up. Oh, also, I haven't been to Daiso in like over a year. Maybe I'm gonna venture out to Daiso this weekend. And also, you know what I haven't done? I haven't done Target Dollar Spot hauls. I really am just so in love with Dollar Tree that I would just rather go to Dollar Tree all the time. Um, it is obviously my favorite, but I will try to do a Daiso and a Target Dollar Spot haul for you guys soon as well. But stick around. 4th of July, you know the drill. I've been saying this in all of my DT weeks and that is it for this DT week, seven sh days of hauling Dollar Tree stuff. And I'm gonna come back hopefully later this summer and do another round and fall and Halloween and Christmas. And I'll see you guys in those videos. Bye. <laughs>